just uh, playing with the, the Taz um, Love 3 uh, climbing device. Not really widely used in tree climbing. It's a little different to get used to the handle. I used to climb on the Grigri most of the time years ago and I liked it and I, it was kind of weird going to like a hitch or the rope runner or something like that where you're just pulling down. It kind of feels like you could inadvertently hit it and sometimes you do or sometimes a rope hits it and it kind of lets go really quickly. There's just no chance of that happening. Like it's a pretty uh, deliberate move to open this and move it down. This little button opens up the device so it can still be attached to your harness when you're uh, putting the rope through it. And it's very easy to put the rope through it. They have a little anchor climber there and a hand and that's kind of a hearkening back to rock climbing. Um, Open it up, put the rope through right here, and there's this little catch that kind of keeps the rope in or, or kind of helps with the friction. And you push that back, and it's really easy to get the rope in there if it's pushed back. And then it clips right there, and you're ready to go. As soon as the carabiner's weighted, it locks. Pretty slick device. I'm really excited to do some more climbing on it. Uh, it's it's seeming to be working really well with this 11 millimeter rope, which is the size it's designed to work with. So there might be a question of how does it react on limb walks? And limb walks are just walking on a limb, right? We're not doing anything crazy, but it is a bit of a function of how you have oriented your rope and your balance and your machine that you're using. So yeah, it works, works okay. <clears throat> it's something to get used to and I think it's going to be something different with every single rope. Whoa!